Hello everyone, welcome back. This is day four of my painting series of Annie Lennox in a grayscale in acrylic paints, um, brought to you by the Baker Hunt Foundation, supported by the Charles H. Dater Foundation. Uh, what I'm gonna be working on today is finishing up the details on the eyes and nose, and then I'm gonna be working on the lips. Um, I'll be talking about the shading of that and going into more detail, so follow along. Today I'm starting with my painting upside down. I'm doing this to look at all the proportions of the face and make sure it matches up with my picture right beside it. Sometimes flipping the canvas like this, uh, you'll be able to see some different areas that you can improve upon uh, when relating to proportion. For some reason, when you flip an image upside down, you're, it's more easy to recognize and it's just a different uh, point of view than what you're used to um, and have been staring at for the last little while of painting. I ended up working upside down for a little while. Um, it was just sort of to get proportions uh, the way they were in the image. Um, so I spent a little bit of time working on that right eye and I've been working on the nose, getting a lot of details in there. I'm gonna progress down to the lips and flip the canvas. If you look at the lips, you're gonna notice that the light generally hits here at the bottom. Um, you guys can see that's going to be the biggest reflection, and then up top, it's going to be a lot darker. So as I block in, I'm going to cover the top lip in a slightly darker than the bottom lip uh, shade. Once I get the lips blocked in the way of light, then I'm going to tighten around the edges and then start adding some detail with the brush. So you guys can see I've been putting a lot of work into that those lips, uh, making sure they're nice and rounded. That lower lip is going to be brighter than the upper lip um, and slightly larger in proportion. Um, the face is coming along nicely. Um, everything's about at 80%. And then I'm going to go through and tighten everything up one last time. Um, and then I'm going to start focusing on uh, transitioning the skin, making that look very smooth in the face. Um, and then I'll eventually tackle the hair and then go out to the ears. Thank you everyone for following along with me today on my painting tutorial of Annie Lennox in the grayscale. I'd like to say thank you to Baker Hunt Art and Cultural Center for making this possible along with the Charles H. Dater Foundation. Follow us on Instagram and on Facebook at Baker Hunt Arts and hashtag stay safe and stay creative. Have a good day everyone.